Researchers at UBC have developed a way to determine if smoke taint is present in grapes just hours after picking them. We've created a test uh, that can help wineries and grape producers uh, measure the impact of, of forest fire smoke exposure on their grapes. And more specifically, uh, it's a test that will help them um, determine the probability that those grapes will be fermented to produce smoky flavored, not enjoyable wine. The problem is, is smoke exposure uh, of ripening grapes uh, isn't immediately detectable in the fruit at harvest. The, the fruit needs to be fermented first and, and sometimes even aged after which suddenly the smoky aroma appears in the wine. So uh, it's often a risk to wineries. Uh, they, don't, they don't know. Uh, really until the fermentation is complete if the wine's been ruined. Uh, they need answers preferably well in advance of, of harvest time. So what we've done is we've essentially come up with a chemical way to mimic what happens during fermentation to uh, expose these smoke flavored molecules that normally uh, are stored uh, within grapes in, in, in perceptible forms. So what we've been doing with local wineries is, is um, attempting to replicate, replicate forest fires in the, in the vineyard. And so that in that instance, we have not only smoked grapes, but control non-smoked grapes from the same vineyard at the same time, grown in the same season, uh, that we can then compare uh, uh, using our method. This is one step in a larger project being done here at UBC. For Castanet News, I'm Elena Kelly in Kelowna. Read letters to the editor in our letters section under the opinion button in the yellow masthead. Email your letters to letters at castanet.net. <laughs>